In his book, Jesus on Every Page, author David Murray shares 10 simple ways to seek and find Jesus on every page of the Old Testament. And I love that approach to studying the Old Covenant scriptures. Isaiah 42 provides a wonderful example for us to look at today. Verse 1 reads, Look at my servant, whom I strengthen. He is my chosen one who pleases me. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or raise his voice in public. He will not crush the weakest reed or put out a flickering candle. He will bring justice to all who have been wronged. He will not falter or lose heart until justice prevails throughout the earth. Even distant lands beyond the sea will wait for his instruction. The Lord calls all people to behold his servant. And the word used for servant here can refer to a slave, the servant of a king, an individual subject, or a tributary nation. In all those cases, the term refers to a person or group characterized by dependence and servitude. Bible commentator David Guzik says, the New King James Version rightly capitalizes servant because the context demonstrates this is a clear reference to Jesus. Additionally, Matthew quotes Isaiah 42, 1 through 5 and plainly says it's a prophecy fulfilled in Jesus. So in this, the Lord commanded all peoples to put their focus on Jesus. Later in verse 9, Isaiah says, Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. See, Jesus, God's servant, is all about new things. In Isaiah 43, the Lord declared, Forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do, for I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway in the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. One of the characteristics of our Savior, Jesus Christ, is that He redeems everything. He makes all things new. What's the application? Let's ask the Lord what new thing He wants to do in your life and in my life in this new year. And then, let's see what He does as He continues to work out His plans for our lives day by day.